Hey, how's it going everybody? I wanted to do a sort of quick impromptu video on troops and mono troops in particular. Uh, I talked about this in my 15 tips video, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out because you'll get a bit more of a uh, slightly more comprehensive guide in a way and then a lot, um, a lot more tips in general. But I just wanted to dive into this one thing in particular because I still see some confusion in the comments and I think it's going to be easy enough to break down. So there's a chart in that video around the 2 minute 20 second mark that shows hero speeds, the tiles it takes them to charge, and then what percent mana bonus, mana generation bonus you need to um, make that hero of that speed charge in fewer tiles. So for example, a very fast hero normally charges in 6.5 tiles. All you need is a um, plus 9% bonus for them to charge in 6 tiles. And then if you look on the chart there, you can see that the 9% bonus is uh, for a level 11 mana troop. So in that chart, it just does say troop level only. Uh, I just want to clarify that that is specifically for mana troops. So if we look at a mana troop, you can see down here the mana bonus. Level 9, it's at 7%. Um, as you level these things up, uh, within a each level, you get one of these things, 1% added to one of the four categories they have. They're slightly different between. They both have attack and defense, but the mana troops have mana and healing bonus instead of the crit troops having health and critical hit chance. And I believe critical hit is double damage. Let's confirm that. Double damage, yep. Okay, so... I remember getting my first mana troop, and it was one of these um, yellows. Oh, I should have had that closer by. Um, and I was like, oh, cool, now my Wukong is going to charge even faster. And that's where I just wasn't realizing how the percentages come into play. So if we look at a hero like um, Wukong, for example, who is an average speed hero, so this will be true for any average speed hero as long as we're not adding um, emblem nodes to this, because you can see that for the monk class, the 20th uh, node is for a 4% bonus, so that'll obviously be additive. Um, but a normal average hero, if we look at the chart in the video, 10 tiles to charge, you need a 12% bonus to charge in nine tiles. If we look where you get a 12% bonus, well, there's either 11 or 13. So you need 13 and 13's had at level 23. So a level 23 four-star troop is a huge investment, which is unfortunate because I feel like average speed heroes benefit the most from a um, mono boost because in this game, everything is in uh, increments of three for matches, three or more, unless you're using a Dragon Bomb or something, that doesn't really count as a match. Um, so you can't match anything for fewer than three, again, unless if you use a Dragon Bomb or something, which is not really a match. So a fast speed hero, for example, if we go back to the chart, charges in eight tiles. How often do you match eight tiles only? Not very often, right? So mo more often than not, a fast speed hero is going to charge with three matches and an average speed hero with a level 23 troop or that you know 12 percent bonus is also going to charge in three matches so basically with a level 23 troop all of your average speed heroes essentially become fast speed um so average speed and very fast speed i think are the best poised to benefit from mono troops because they can move a whole um, increment of three faster. So like a very fast hero, six and a half tiles. Well, you can't match six and a half tiles, so you would need seven tiles, which would be a four match and a three match. It's not very often that you're going to get a four match and a three match. So typically, I don't know, it's not as neat. Um, but if you give them a level 11 mono troop, which if you have a mono troop, it's not very hard to get them to level 11, then all of a sudden they're charging in only two matches instead of two matches plus, you know, however however much else you can manage. Um, so those are, those are 
big advantages. Um, yeah. Slow speed, the best you can really hope to get is a, um, and again, for, well, so slow speed, you can get to charge in 10 tiles if you have a costume bonus, um, but you need a level 29 troop. So to charge in two tiles faster, 12, um, slow going from 12 tiles to 10 tiles, level 29 troops are ridiculous. So, um, yeah, so if we look at how you might calculate this, like say you have something like a hero like Ariel or Brynhild or... Uh, I'm trying to think who else there is, or like a elemental link that gives mana generation, something like that, and you want to figure out how to calculate this, the way you would look at it is normally a tile gives one unit of mana. So say we have Ariel's bonus going, which I think is the same as Brynhild's, 24%, plus 24%, and you have a level... Um, Oh, let's see, and you have a level 17 mana troop, just to make it a round number. So we have collectively a 35% boost to mana generation, 24 from the hero and 11% from the troop. So that means every tile is now essentially worth 1.35 tiles. So say you're looking at a slow hero, for example. So normally a slow hero is gonna take 12 tiles to charge, right? If we divide that 12 by the new tile worth, which is 1.35 from our 11% troop, and granted the troop has to be on the hero that you're calculating this for. So you'd have to have a level uh, 17 mono troop for the 11% bonus on the hero you're calculating it for, and in this case, that's in addition to the 24%. So we'll divide 12, which was the the amount of tiles it normally took to charge them with the new value of tiles, 1.35. And that means that a slow hero, obviously you can't get 8.8, .8, so you have to go to the next whole number above that, which is going to be nine. Um, so you can actually make a slow hero charge like a fast hero if you have a level 11 troop and a 24% bonus from a hero like Brynhild or Ariel or I think there's at least one other. I think uh, Sif. Sif also does this. Where is Sif? 24%, uh, yeah, so they stick with these values pretty consistently. Um, say we wanted to do something uh, more complicated, like if we take Tularia, for example, Tularia does minus 24%. Um, Okay, so let's look at, uh, let's, let's pick a fast hero. Let's pick an average hero. And we're gonna pick an average hero that has a level 11 troop. So an average hero with a level 11 troop is going to be um, a 9% bonus. So that means all those tiles for that average speed hero are going to be like equivalent to 1.09 tiles because hopefully it's clear that we're adding 9% to that tile's value. Okay, and then say Teluria fires, and now we get minus 24% um, to that. That makes every tile worth 0.85 tiles. Um, and just double checking my math here so I don't get off on the wrong tangent. Yeah, so then if we do, so that's our new tile value with our mana bonus from our troop and the debuff that's currently on our heroes. Um, there's other heroes that do similar ones. So again, you, once you see how to calculate this, you can input all the numbers yourself, and it's really helpful to know these things. Um, and just to kind of commit it to memory, there's only so many speeds, so it's not hard to memorize this stuff because they rely on the same values so often. But if you do that, then you can, then you can know, okay, I have this troop and Teleria has fired, Therefore, it's going to take me this many tiles, so I know if I make this four match that I will be charged up. Because there are, I haven't done this yet. I know for all the, for all my regular heroes with their troops, I know what it's going to take to charge them up. But when you start to add in these different buffs and debuffs, I don't have that memorized yet. And so there's times where I make a match and I'm like, oh crap, that wasn't enough to get my healer charged up or to charge up Black Knight or something like that. And then I'm in bad situation. So uh, I do recommend learning this because 
while it can't make you play better, it can help you play a little bit smarter because then you won't be making some of these mistakes. So, like thinking you're going to charge a hero and then you don't actually charge them. So, normally it takes 10 tiles divided by 0.85, which is the new tile value. And now your average hero just became slow. So, um, it normally takes 10 tiles. Now it's going to take 12 tiles because we can't match for 11.76470059. Um, so let me double check that one more time. 1.09 minus 24% cut. 10 divided by 0.85. Yeah. So that changes your average speed heroes to slow speed. Let's do the same thing for fast real quick. So we'll assume the same thing. I think level 11 and up is pretty common at least. So that's um, eight is the speed, uh, the amount of tiles it takes to charge a fast hero divided by 0.85. Um, now that hero becomes average speed. So for those two, at least, you're changing the entire class of your hero, which it does make a big difference. It's not nearly as crazy it was as it was before with, I think, the minus 35% was crazy. Because um, that would have made your average speed hero <laughs> to an ultra slow hero. Um, so, anyways... Yeah, hopefully that gives you a little bit more information on not just some of these numbers, but how to calculate any value you want. Um, I didn't understand intuitively at first what the way to calculate this was. And once you just do it by what the, how the tiles value changes, divide the amount of tiles it used to take by the new tiles value. Once you factor troops, um, any class bonuses, uh, costume bonuses will be another thing you'll have to add in if you have a fully maxed costume then you get a 5% bonus to that. So you'll need to add all of these things together to find what is the collective uh, change to your mana speed. And then um, if it's minus 13%, then that means each tile would be worth 0.87 tiles. You would divide your typical tiles to charge by the new tile value to get the amount of heroes, uh, the amount of heroes, the amount of tiles it will take to charge that hero in the in this new debuffed state, you know, and as as these wear off, you know, this is a a fluid thing that's constantly changing. Um, if you're playing with heroes that have mana buffs or debuffs, um, if I made any mistakes in there, I uh, just correct me in the comments down below. Um, so if you're checking this video out, make sure to check out the comments. I feel pretty confident in the math, but it's been sort of a long uh, work day and it's possible I made a mistake um, but I wanted to get this video out there because I think this information is valuable and I thought that it would be cleared up mostly from the tips video that I did again if you haven't seen that make sure to check it out but um, I wanted to make sure that I covered this part of how to do the calculations yourself based on the more um, detailed situations you can find yourself in, more nuanced situations where it's not as simple as the chart that's in that video. Um, if you still have any lingering questions, let me know. Um, like I said, I just kind of threw this together as I thought of it. Um, it's stuff that I've, you know, I've done these calculations on my own plenty before, so it's not a new topic for me, but it is not something that I sat down beforehand to script out, you know, it takes, it takes a long time to, to, uh, to make videos anyways with the editing and thumbnails and uploading and all that kind of stuff. So the script, um, adds a, a whole nother time consuming layer. And sometimes after a long day of work, I just don't have the time for that. So, uh, let me know what you think, if there was value for this, if there's anything else that you want to see explained around it or any other similar topics that you want to see broken down like this. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. That helps other people find the video. So if you think this information is valuable, that's a good way to make sure that other people can see it as well and that we can all um, 
sort of learn together. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.